I'm Nisi Westmoreland. I teach fourth grade and I'd like to help you with some troubleshooting and tips for the Makey Makey. Okay, so I've got my Makey Makey hooked up to my computer and um, all of the arrow keys, spacebar, connected to various objects. This is kind of typical of what I might see from an introductory level project from my fourth graders. As you can see, I've got several pieces of fruit and veggies. I've got a spoon, some copper tape, various things. So the kids will be trying to make complete their circuits using this, and they will often have problems. Um, it's not working is super common to hear in my class, but I do my best not to tell them what's wrong. Of course, you wanna make, have them making their own discoveries. So let's start talking about some troubleshooting tips. Okay, so tip number one, we're gonna call follow the path. So we basically need to make sure the electricity is getting from the power source all the way back to the power source. In this case, the power source, the battery of our computer, is gonna travel through our makey makey into whichever key. In this case, let's look at the left arrow key. It's connected to this gray cord. Uh, looks fine, making sure that there's no gaps in the path or things that are connected that aren't supposed to be, and it goes into my carrot. And a lot of the times the kids will be like, oh, I'm touching the carrot, it's not working. But the problem is, is the path is now going through my body and nowhere. So it needs to go back to the power source, so I need to touch my ground. So I'm touching my ground, we've completed the circuit. Okay, let's try another path. So we can wanna systematically go through all of our keys in order to check. Let's follow this right arrow key. It's connected to this black alligator clip. And it's going to eventually go to the potato, but we've got a problem right here in that it's also, the metal's also touching the spoon. So what's probably going to happen is when I make this connection, it's going to push the potato key, which is the right arrow, and the spoon, which is the space bar. So it's even kind of sometimes making that connection, sometimes making that connection, sometimes not. So we gotta make sure that everything is separated. Sometimes also uh, just their actual items will end up touching each other. So make sure everything's spread out enough, nothing's connected where it shouldn't be. Okay, tip number two. Make sure that you're not touching the makey makey or when you have a group of kids working together, someone somewhere isn't touching the makey makey when they shouldn't be. So often the kids will be like holding the makey makey or one kid's holding it and another person's playing, but it's really easy to accidentally with your fingers or even underneath the makey makey make a connection um, completing the circuit underneath. Hands off. All right, tip number three. Um, often what happens is the kids will confuse their wires and not know where each um, wire is going. So it's really helpful to use one of each color of the alligator clips if you're connecting to alligator clips. It just kind of simplifies and it's easier to do tip number one, following the path. All right, tip number four, not so much a troubleshooting tip, just a helpful tip, is that when you're using your alligator clips, don't stick them into anything gooey. So let's call this tip no gooey. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so what's helpful is if you hook the alligator clip into maybe a little jumper wire and then stick that piece into whatever it is that's gross. Especially Play-Doh, it's a nightmare to get out of the alligator clips. Tip number five is use a piano when you're testing out your connections. It's often really hard to tell if you're pressing the right key when you're playing something like Mario Brothers or if something weird is happening, what exactly is happening. So use a piano when you're testing and following the path for tip one. Okay, tip number six. The all else fails. The I've tried everything and it's still broken tip is to unplug your Makey Makey and plug it back in. So when you unplug your Makey Makey, and plug it back in, you will see a whole bunch of lights on your Makey Makey that show that it's getting power correctly. And if then it's still not working, you've tried following the path again, unplug all your connectors and plug them back in. It'll just take a couple minutes and it 99% of the time will fix the problem.